All right, well, what I'm going to do is pop open a, both, a lot of images here. So tomorrow is all about retouching. Okay, so we're going to start out with, this is so fun. I'm just going to open up a slew of images here. Oh, yeah. So on this photo, we've got some selective sharpening going on. Ooh, see the before and after. Great way to accentuate eyes. I'm also going to show you how to add a, a blur, blurry background after the, the shot. So this was our original photo, and we added a little selective blur here. Same thing on this guy right here. This is the original. This is what we're going to create. And I'm going to open up some more images for you here. Now we're going to pop back into day three. We're going to look at creating a uh, levels adjustment layer. So I'm going to bring one of these guys up to show you uh, before and after. We're going to look at lightening and darkening with blend modes. We're going to do some color changes, some eye lightening, some faux dodging and burning. I'm just going to grab a couple of images to open, actually a slew of them. A little spot healing, a little content aware fill. There we go. So I'm going to open all these guys up and hopefully Photoshop won't choke on us here. Woo! -hoo. Little color change, anybody? Hmm? Don't like the color of your shirt? No problem, we can change it in Photoshop. <laughs> Want to change the color of your car? We can do that too. Want to color correct an image? Take it from this to this. No problem. We can do that. This original used to have another cow. We're going to use content aware fill to get rid of that cow. And that's a fun thing to do on its own. I highly recommend that on a Friday or Saturday night. We're going to do a little spot healing. Look at this. So our original photo has piercings and moles and some dark bags under the eyes. So we're going to get rid of all that non-destructively with your healing tools. I'm going to show you how to create a black and white with a color tint effect. Really beautiful. I'm going to show you how to create this amazing color fade. There's our original. There's what we're going to create. Fade from color to black and white. We're going to show you how to do a partial color effect. There's our original. That's what we're going to create. This is another variation on the color fade. And our faux dodge and burn that I talked about, I'll zoom in so you can see. Here's our before and here's our after with some of her wrinkles and everything just reduced a little bit in shadows. And one of my favorite techniques, some serious eye enhancing. And we're going to also show you how to use that same technique to lighten teeth as well. So that's just a little bit of teaser for some of the wonderful retouching techniques we're going to go over tomorrow.